Hey guys, Lee Sell here with the Crawl Space Ace, and today uh, I want to show you a job that we started, uh, and it is a full floor replacement. So, what what does that mean? So, full floor replacement is when you have so much moisture damage in your house that the the entire floor, every floor joist, all the subfloor support beams everything is so rotten beyond the point of being able to just repair the floor by its sister and up floor joists and replacing support beams and stuff like that it's it's either the all everything's completely rotten or at least 80 90 percent of it's completely rotten um or the the house is so low to the ground that we can't do the repairs from underneath so that's what we're working with here today uh, full floor tear out. We're, like I said, we're replacing everything. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna give you a little show around. This is the guys just started about uh, about 30 minutes ago, not not too long ago, and they've uh, they're already getting getting at it and tearing it apart. So um, I'll take you in there and and we'll we'll go take a look and and see what it looks like. All right, so here we go. We're in the uh, in the kitchen now. So as you can see here, the floor was starting to separate in all these spots where the floor is doing a, this wavy motion and, and starting to sag real bad. Um, you can see the guys have already started torn out, tearing out all the flooring everywhere. Um, it's hard to see in the video, but I can feel it. It's got a pretty good wave to it. So if you look here, you see the gap here on the baseboard. That's from where the floor is, is it started dipping down real bad and the floors are waving real bad so you guys are starting to tear it all out you can kind of see it here there's a big hump right here So as I said before, we're uh, we're tearing out all that floor. Uh, we got to tear out all the finished floor, all the subfloor, all the joists. It'll just be bare dirt under there uh, when when we're done tearing it all out, and we'll we'll start from scratch, um, put all the new wood back in, all the subfloor back in, and they'll be uh, they'll be good as new. Uh, all new all new understructure. This house will be like a brand new house from the from the bottom anyway. So. Um, stay, stay tuned for some during and after. All right, guys, here we are again uh, over here in Benton, Kentucky, uh, checking in on this full floor uh, replacement that we're doing out here. So uh, this is the start of day four. So let's see where we're at. We got all the starting on all the wall plate seal plate is all getting replaced here as well the guys are doing a pretty good job here getting a lot done so got all the way down this way got it all the way around the end so trucking along here so that's basically where we ended at guys uh day three after day three so like i said this is the start of day four so I got majority of the tear out done. They left all the kitchen, uh, all the subfloor and everything in the kitchen still just to make it easier to walk in and, and get to those back areas and get that done. So um, what we'll probably do is, is get the rest of the back area all done, subfloor up and stuff like that before we start tearing out the rest of it. Um, 
but uh but yeah they got got a big area of it tore out and they're they're knocking out that wall and seal plate first um so we have a good good uh good foundation if you will to to set those those new joists on when when we get them all set up so um we'll we'll see where they end up here uh after after a few more days all right thanks guys All right, guys. Here we are. It's been uh, it's been about three weeks, maybe a little bit more. Uh, and the guys are all finished up over here uh, out in Benton doing this full floor replacement. As you can see, we got the uh, we got the dumpster all nice and full. So let me uh, turn you around, and we'll we'll see how it turned out. All right, here we go. Nice. Flat floors, nice new Advantech put down for subflooring. Nice and solid. Nice solid floors all throughout now, no more worries. And got all the way back here in the laundry room. We do still got, uh, we got HVAC company coming out to uh, reinstall all the registers. Got to cut new registers in and, and reinstall that. So uh, a couple little things here to button up still, but um, all the flooring is in. Got the bathroom back in, got the vanity put in. Um, the shower was a one piece shower that we actually had to cut to get out of here. Um, so they're gonna have to put a new shower in um, but got the uh, got the new toilet flange set up everything's ready for them to get this uh, get this bathroom and everything put back together so when we finish this uh, this is how we this is how it how it is when we finish uh, we don't do finished flooring um, and we don't put the baseboards back because you got to do the flooring really to, before you put baseboards back, stuff like that. So, um, there's still a little bit of work to do, um, for, for the homeowner, but, um, that's, that's, that's just where we stop. We, that's our specialty is, is replacing all the rotten wood where our specialty isn't doing finished flooring. So, uh, you're better off calling somebody, uh, that can do finished flooring. Uh, they'll do a much better job than we will. So we like to stick to what we're good at. So there we are, nice flat, flat, solid floors again. No more waviness, no more bouncing. Very solid. We'll uh, we'll get crawl underneath real quick and see see what she looks like from underneath. All right, as we showed before. We got all new wall plate, seal plate. Everything's nice and fresh and clean. Let's get under here and take a look.
<laughs> All right, look at that. Like I said, we still still got HVAC company coming out to re reinstall all these duct runs and, and everything like that. I got to put the return back in and stuff like that. But they got a new, fresh new vapor barrier down. There's the wall plate, seal plate from the inside. Just nice and clean. Now in this crawl space, since it's fairly low to the ground, this main support beam up here, oh, there we go. That's the main support beam down the center of the house. Um, and that's what we call a flush girder. What that means is all these floor joists run flush up against the main support beam like they are right now. Um, and then you, on a crawl space where you got more space, it's called a drop girder where the main support beams lower and the floor joists actually rest on top of the, the main support. So that's why we've got these ones flush up against um, the main support and with uh, um, with the hangers on there as well to add add that support for them. So all new understructure, every floor joist, all the sill plate, all the wall plate, main support beam, all that is brand new. All right, so that's it, guys. Uh, it's a full floor replacement right there. Uh, just replacing every every bit of that understructure. Um, everything was rotted out and and uh, just needed 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 replaced. So uh, we we got her all tore out and and redone and and they're uh, they're ready to start from scratch again on this house. Uh, hopefully hopefully we'll keep the moisture levels down and and. It'll last another 50, 60, 80 years. So um, I think that's about it. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, we'll start shooting some more of these videos. We do these full floor tear outs quite a bit. So um, there'll be more to come. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, feel free to, you can email me at thecrawlspaceace at gmail.com or go on our website at www.the-crawlspaceace.com and you can fill out a contact form and contact me through that. Thank you.